Hey folks, welcome back to the XNA Roundup Show. This is episode number 25, and I'm your host, Nick the Dude. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Here at XNA Roundup Headquarters, we find the best games on the Xbox Live Community Game section and give you the rundown of what's worth playing each and every week. Support XNA Roundup by subscribing to our show via iTunes or YouTube. You can also link or embed our videos on your blog, Twitter, or Facebook page. On this week's show, we check out the Kodu project from the Microsoft Research Lab, now available on the Community Games section. Kodu allows players to create, play, and share their own games using a very simplistic programming language. Let's get right into our review. We'll see you on the other side. If you've ever wanted to make your own video games, and who hasn't, or just wanted to give your kids a little nudge towards choosing computer science as a career, Kodu could just be the product you've been looking for. Kodu is a programming environment aimed towards children as well as adults who have never written a shred of code in their lives. You never have to type a single letter and you use only the Xbox controller to develop your games. Creating the environment by painting land and mountains, adding water, trees and flora, and by placing different objects that each have their own programmable logic. You can designate objects to be manipulated via your controller or program them to respond to different situations. The most basic example of this logic would be if the object in question sees an apple, it should move toward it. Or for manual control of an object, if the controller's left stick is activated, move the object accordingly. It all actually works pretty well, although at times you get the feeling that the folks behind Kodu felt that to explain how to actually do something would have been admitting that the program wasn't actually as easy as it was advertised to be. This sentiment permeates Kodu and really holds back what otherwise would be a really accessible tool for creating cool games. The addition of a few quick video tutorials probably would have done the trick. The trade-off that Kodu has made was that of customization and extensibility for ease of use. You're forced to fit your ideas into Kodu sandbox, which may not always be possible. One nice thing about more complex languages is that if you run into a problem, you can most likely code your way out of it. If Kodu's programmers haven't built and included a mechanism to solve your problem, you may be out of luck. My suggestion is before you start thinking of ideas to create with Kodu, first get a feel for the tools, objects, and logic that are available and work well within the environment. Then fashion an idea around that. It's similar to the problem developers have been having with the iPhone. Cramming games that rely on a traditional joystick and button input device into a unit that contains no such mechanism. As developers look at the iPhone with fresh eyes, we are beginning to see original and compelling material at an increasing pace. I can imagine the same trend developing with Kodu. Whether a great or even a good game can be made with such simplistic tools is an interesting question. If the pre-made games included with your purchase are any indicator, the answer may be no. Bundled with Kodu, you'll find a collection of half-hearted mini-games, a few of which don't even try to explain themselves. The one game that had a little something going on was a 3D take on Frogger. Of course, these games are simply included to demonstrate concepts and give you a jumping off point when you decide to start making your own game. Each included game is 100% editable, which is a great way to learn more advanced techniques without having to take the time to build a game from the ground up. I'm really excited to play more of Kodu. My hope is to move toward developing some more focused gaming experiments as opposed to my typical, hmm, wonder if I can do this mentality. One aspect that appeals to me is the sharing mechanism that allows you to exchange and play projects with your Xbox Live friends. But I was disappointed to find out that there's no way to simply make your games public and available to everyone, not just friends. If you're interested in sharing some of your levels, drop me a line at xnaroundup at gmail.com and I'll send you my gamer tag. We'll even run a contest for the best Kodu game if enough people are into it. The first assignment I'm giving myself is to create a game to play with my girlfriend where we don't end up mad at each other afterwards. This could take some time. Kodu is worth a purchase for anyone who has ever thought about becoming a game designer or for young boys and girls above the age of 10 or 11. For 400 Microsoft points, you'll be able to create simple but playable games in no time at all and with some practice, patience, and persistence, you may just create something really awesome. All right, folks, that's our show for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just a quick note, you can really help out our show by completing a quick survey located at http colon backslash backslash sn.im slash roundup survey. As always, you can get show updates at twitter.com slash xna roundup, and you can email questions, comments, or suggestions to xna roundup at gmail.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.